Hey everybody, let's jump right in and start adding our keyword search to the Discord bot. Now, I'm going to be adding this to my music Discord bot uh, that I've been making in a series on this channel, but this can apply to anyone. So whether you're building onto the music bot or building another bot, this will work for you. So just follow along. First, we're going to import some URL lib parse, URL lib request and re for regex this is all we'll need and now i'm going to just add some variables from my github linked in the description you could code these directly into your project i just like using variables rather than uh, string literals but now let's move on so the first thing you'll want to do is on the method that you call with the keywords after so for instance uh minus play so say we have a query of guts theme, right? We have play and then our link, we want to be this or link keyword, whatever you're calling it. I'm calling it link. Uh, how it currently works. If you just pass in context and your argument is discord will get guts and that's it. And it'll make it link. So your searches will be skewed and you can't use more than one word. We don't want that. So we need to add asterisk comma. So between context and link, actually you can add other arguments, but anything after link is now a keyword argument, which means any call to it has to explicitly define what argument is being passed in. So link equals whatever you passed in here. Uh, this has to be done if you want to include more than one word. So now it will get everything after play. So, just keep that in mind. And if you have another argument here, so like, uh, let's say arg, um, you can, it will take, basically that will make guts, arg, and everything following into link. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> I don't wanna create any confusion. Uh, that's basically why we're adding this asterisk to Q and play. Now we will get into the actual coding portion. Um, I'm gonna comment out the current code just so I can demonstrate clearly what this does. So we'll be working within this try here. First of all, we want to make sure that the YouTube base URL, which is just youtube.com, not in link. So it's not in the argument we passed in. Uh, this is just something for the music pot. You can skip that if you're not following along with that. But this just checks to see if we're sending a link or if we are sending keywords and naturally keywords will not have the base URL in it. Now we're going to create our query string by saying URL lib, uh, actually parse and URL encode. We're going to make a dictionary and call this search query. Let's do search query equals link. And what this does is it creates the end part of a URL. So if you ever look up in your URL, you can actually go to YouTube and do this right now, but I'm going to show you here. This V equals everything after the question mark is your query string. So this is forming one of those at the end and you'll see it's really just passing in arguments. URLs are really just method calls uh, in the form of get and post. You don't have to fully understand that. Just know that this is passing in link to whatever URL we call. So in this next section with content, we're going to go URL lib request URL open and open our YouTube results URL and add the query string at the end. So like I just showed you, everything after the question mark is a search query. So we are adding our search query after the results which is the query that YouTube makes when you search something. So we're basically getting the HTML content of search results because this is the equivalent of typing in a search on YouTube. We're just getting the HTML content. Now our search results, we don't want anything but the value of the query strings for the videos that we can append to the end of our watch URL. So what we're going to do here is say, re find all to tell it to search this via regex and add an r at the beginning of our string so this tells the string that 
well, tells the method that this is a regex string, regular expression. Um, and I'm going to copy paste this from my GitHub so that I don't have to type it out. And because as you can see, it's pretty tedious and not fun to watch. Well, now we're going to go content read the code. And what this is doing is just finding every instance of this pattern inside of our content. Um, and this will get us all the query strings as a list. So to show you the end result, I'm going to send the YouTube watch URL plus search results zero, which means the first search result we get. Um, so now if we run this, we will see that we'll get a URL to the guts thing if we type this and send it. You see, one hour of berserk music, theme of guts. And this is our perfectly formed URL. This can be used in a ton of different ways than what I'm using it for here. Uh, but in our instance, we're just going to set link to this and uncomment all of these. Now our music bot can take in keywords and links. If it's if it doesn't contain the base URL, assume it's keywords and create a link from it and play that. And this even works with Q because we can add the keyword to our Q as demonstrated in the previous video on adding Qs. And it will play next, passing in our keywords as link and work as intended. So I'll just do a little demonstration here. We're going to do a short little audio clip uh, and add something to the queue using keywords. So I'm in here and we're going to say play right wife life good and we're going to queue guts thing. Right wife life good. As you can hear it's wife playing Kill what wife. was searched. Wife gone. Think about wife. And now plays the next song in the queue based on keywords. So I'm going to stop that right there so I don't get like copyright claimed or anything like that. But that is how our bot functions. And we see the keyword search works phenomenally. It's very simple to implement. And you can put this in any bot, not just my music bot. I tried to make this a blanket tutorial that both my current viewers and anyone else can view. If you find any errors with this, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to address them. And if you found this video valuable, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as that supports the channel. I'm also leaving a link to Boldman's Coffee, which is the coffee I run every day on. And I develop with it often. Every time I drink coffee, it is Boldman's. It's not my brand, but I'm an affiliate and highly recommend it. My favorite is Kickstarter. If you want to support the channel financially, go get yourself a bag of Boldman's. It's not expensive and it only ships in the US. So just keep that in mind. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep on coding.